Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Boygie here, getting ready to take out the French D371 and air realistic battles um, about the plane. So maneuvers very well for being a monoplane and you've got four, let's see, 7.5 millimeter guns on it, 1200 rounds of ammo. That's a lot of ammo, but it goes pretty quick with four guns. So um, anyways, climbs pretty good, everything else. Let's uh, take it out and see what we can do. All right, so the map is Essen. We've got our 800 meter targeting distance. We've got stealth ammo because it's more effective even though we won't be able to see our rounds and minimum fuel load. Let's get ready to take off. Seize on our team, all low level as well. That works. Throw our smoke on so hopefully nobody runs into us. We're gonna get to 125 miles per hour try to climb right around that pace. So climbing at 125 is going to do two things for us. One is we should have an elevation advantage, which we can turn into an energy advantage uh, against our opponents when we meet them. The other thing is, and maybe it's not too friendly to our teammates, but um, essentially we're probably not going to get targeted from the start. So if you fly in low level and get there fast, you're going to be the first target the enemy sees and they're likely to uh, to bounce on you. So we see our airstrip is lined up this way, theirs is that way. It means we're probably going to meet somewhere around here. We're taking off to the right right now. We're going to go ahead and push in towards their C point chuckles and just stay in our climb. A little low right now, we'll bring it up a bit. So we get that miles per hour down to 125. All right, so one of the things I suggest for everybody is go into options, turn off joining a battle that's already in progress. Um, I see a, you know probably three or four players on our side that are joining kind of after we've already taken off and, and had some energy. It's just going to put you at a disadvantage for the fight. So... Do yourself a favor, turn that off, join from the beginning every time. You'll get a better sense of when you're going to run into your opponents and you'll have an energy advantage from the start of the game. So what do we have? Peace shooters, P36s, okay. Let's see who we're up against. Five people already died, that's not good. So Germans and Italians. So we might get some early 109s. See what these guys do. That PBM is going to rip his wings if he keeps that up. 123 thinks he's a fighter. That works. I heard that. Let's see. So that is the JU 88 that is the attacker. How'd he go? So he came in, took a shot at us, did some damage, and now he's trying to get us with his rear gunners. Um, you do have to watch out for that. I wasn't paying attention like I should have. Those guys, as attackers, get a higher air spawn than we do. Right now, we're just going to let him come at us, pretend like we don't notice him, and we're going to turn in now to make a miss. He is to get under his guns. It's harder for a plane to get his guns down than it is up because of the lift on the wings. He's got some other one on our right. He's coming in. I don't see him. See, they're up higher down low. I guess it is that guy. Okay, so we're clear. 188's apparently a musician. Or the JU-88. Uh, we're still on WEP and we have not started to burn up our engine, which is a good thing. Let's focus on our P-36. And he's, he's playing this right, so what he should be doing is coming in, taking a few shots, getting enough distance to come back around and take a few more shots. Everything he's doing uh, leads us to believe he's a good player. Luckily we got our P-36 who can catch him. We'd have trouble doing that ourselves. Let's see how the rest of our team's doing. Only a few of them out. 
We have the energy advantage on everybody but the dough. So I think the game plan here is we're going to go ahead and dive in pretty soon. I lost sight on that 109. He's the only one that I worry about that could... No, no, he's right there. We're good. All right. So we're going to go finally burning up our engine. We're going to cool that off. Bring it down to 83 for a minute. Move just back up to 100. All right. So ju 88s kind of running away from our P36. I'm going to cut our throttle on our engine to slow down a little bit. P36 took care of him. Got the CR32 in sight. HE100 is a little scary, but we'll figure it out. So we get some shots into him. Throttle back up. He's screwed. He's got three of us on him. Good damage. Should do it. Somebody else could finish him off. Alright, so there were two 109s. I wasn't confused. There's one up here who has a great energy advantage over all of us and can really take advantage of it. So we've got to keep our eye on them. Essentially, we'll go in a straight line. I'm really going after this JU-88. Looks like he's low on energy. We're just going to watch this 109 if he gets within a kilometer or so. We'll break. Try to spoil his shot. He's diving now. He's diving on our friend. He's gonna go after this guy, the Yonkers. No flaps on this aircraft. I had to check just in case because it would have been helpful. A couple shots in. Let your uh, teammates shoot you down by getting in front of them. Break off for this uh, Stuka. Try to stay under his guns. We only have 120 rounds left. Wow. Go fast. Alright, we're out of rounds. I'm going to RTB, let our teammates know it. Nine looks like he's energy fighting. That's what he should be doing. That plane. All right, I'll check back in with you guys. I got a long, uh, long way back to base. I'll check back in with you once I'm rearmed and uh, and repaired. All right, so we're heading back into battle. They have three guys left. We have two of us. There's an HE-100, and I assume the BF-109 might still be around, but both of them realize how to energy fight, so we got to be a little bit careful. Um, when I'm coming back into battle, they usually climb at 150 just to get there a little bit quicker, and typically they're down lower, so you don't need that energy advantage you need in the beginning when you're going 125. I will check in with you guys when we get close to the uh, fight. All right, so our teammate Chicken Squid has been on cleanup. He's got four air kills. He took out a few grounds. Last I saw of our opponent was he was going towards their airfield. We're down to one on their side. Got the advantage in points. We're just going to go ahead and uh, do some cleanup down here. Try to keep an eye out in case he comes back towards us. seen our uh, opponent yet come back from his airfield a little too late but we're gonna get try and get below the uh, A's let's go take out the last A we'll 
We'll focus on the uh, blinking reds that are the ones that count towards winning the game. Artillery. Always easier to uh, hit the ground things, artillery and all that from the opponent's side of the map. They usually have sandbags in front of them if you come at them from our side. Either that or just get an angle on your way in. Alright, we have almost cleaned this up. to it. Well, we didn't do much for air to air. We only had one air target, but uh, our teammate Chicken Squid, I believe. Yeah, I mean, he was cleaning up the air, so he took all our kills what it was no he did a really good job um, we ended up getting 10 ground targets and second place on the team and we ended up getting thunder so hope you guys enjoyed the video catch you on the next one america fuck yeah to say this fucking day yeah beautiful